kind of idiots do I have working for me? Really devious. Shut it, Zip. Oh, sorry about that, sir. Oh, uh, sorry. Yeah, sorry, Captain Zero. Sorry. Sorry! Sorry! I don't want to hear! Get out of my sight, all of you! Welcome back to the Tug's Profile series. Today we're covering the despicable leader of the Zero fleet, the notorious Captain Zero. If you guys enjoy this episode and want to see more like it, then be sure to subscribe, leave a like, and click Toby's bell to stay notified for when I post new content. Now then, with all of that out of the way, let's get started. Captain Zero is the leader of the Zero fleet, and is quite frankly, the polar opposite to his rival, Captain Star. Whereas Captain Star is firm but fair, and has his tugs attempt to get ahead by hard, honest work, Captain Zero is devious, scheming, and quite frankly, willing to play dirty in order to get ahead of the competition. He considers doing whatever you can to get by to be a necessity, since the world is unfair. What's devious? What's devious is what's necessary to make an honest living in these days of corruption and bad business ethics. This nefarious mindset is reflected in how he manages his fleet, as he'll often instruct them to win him contracts in any way that they can. Zero is a very expressive character. Despite the fact that all human characters are kept hidden from the camera, Zero's personality is shown by how frequently and violently he shakes the megaphone protruding from his office. It's quite clear by this behaviour that he is rather temperamental, and he doesn't really care about his tugs at all. He merely sees them as a means to an end. His attitude also appears to have rubbed off on some of his employees too, particularly Zack and Zorin the latter of which he often puts in charge of jobs and winning contracts. It's pretty obvious that Captain Zero is a rather shady character. In fact, he is so shady that it is heavily implied that he was, or might even still be involved, with the Mafia. Hell, his connection to the notorious and frightening gangster Johnny Cuba is a clear indicator of this. Zero's history with Cuba is never fully flushed out, and is left up to interpretation but we can summarise that he might owe Johnny money, or a big favour, as indicated by Cuba's dialogue when he first meets Zebedee in the episode High Winds. Zero owes me, understand, so don't get funny or you'll be in deep trouble, and I do mean deep. Apparently, the captain was supposed to appear in this episode, but his role was sadly cut. It's a real shame, because I for one would have loved to have been given some elaboration on Zero's history with Johnny. Despite being so notoriously corrupt, Captain Zero is willing to play straight if he has something to gain from it, such as when he agreed to work with Captain Star and his fleet to track down and catch the pirate who was stealing barges from both companies. Zero really is a complex character. Captain Zero is voiced by Sean Barrett. Gotta say, I love the range on this guy's voice, as he lended his talents to so many characters in the show. I think Captain Zero is a really good character, and I'm sad that we didn't get to see more of him, but I am nevertheless grateful for what we did get. In terms of his counterpart from Thomas and Friends, there are several candidates that we could choose from. We could simply say that he is an evil version of Sir Topham Hatt, we could also say that he is something along the lines of those crooks who instructed Sonny to steal for them. You could maybe even say that he is a counterpart to Sailor John, considering the fact that both are devious seamen who play dirty in hopes of making a fortune. Who do you guys think would make a good counterpart to the devious captain? And that was Captain Zero. What do you guys think of this character? I for one really like him, and as with many of the show's characters, I have grown to appreciate him even more after researching and doing a video on him. As always, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode. I don't have any updates for you, other than the Halloween episodes are coming along nicely. Hope you're looking forward to them as much as I am. Now until next time, I've been Sinners and Ashes UK, you've been awesome, and have a great day. Bye!